In this video, we're going to show the process of uh, deploying a basic SQLR model. So in order to get a model deployed first, we need to uh, upload the model files to GCP storage. So here, let's go to storage browser. And here you see uh, there is this concept of a bucket. So bucket is basically the biggest uh, uh, sort of like a repo or biggest folder where you can store all your files on GCP in storage. So in this case here, I have already created a um, bucket named ML Deployment Tutorials. So we're going to use this instead of creating a new one. Okay, so it's already in here. And um, also, uh, I've created the new folder for this specific mini project that's called sklearn. So what I'm going to do is then come here to my where my uh, model file is, and then I'm going to drag and drop it in here. And this way, the model file will be uploaded. Okay, so perfect, that has been done. So next, once this is ready, next step will be for us to go to AI platform models, where we're going to deploy the model. And of course, we're going to use the, uh, the model file we just up, uh, uploaded. So we're going to say create a model because uh, right now there isn't any models in here. So we're going to say create model. So there are a con uh, there are two concepts here. So first, uh, there is a concept of a model, and then there is a concept of a version. So whenever you have a new model, you can create a new model, and you can create you can always create a new version uh, for your existing model. Okay, so in this case here, we're creating the, the model. So why don't we call this just the sklearn model, like this, okay? And um, so here we can use the, uh, the regional endpoint and uh, read the detail if you're interested in this. And uh, we're going to skip uh, the logging for the model for now. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to say create. And then in no time, the model is created. So now that we have the model, we can take a look. There's really nothing in here because remember what I said, you need to create new versions for your model. And right now there is no versions. So we're going to click new version to create the very first version of our model. So in this case here, we're going to call this version V0.1. Okay, so that's going to be the 0.1 version of the the first version of the model, okay? Uh, but um, it's important that we use underscore instead of a dot because, uh, you know, a, uh, a dot is not um, allowed here in the name of a version. And then we're going to specify the Python version. Here I'm going to use the latest Python and the framework, it is going to be sklearn because that is the type of model we have uh, developed. And we're going to use this to deploy as well. Framework framework version here, we're going to use the latest one. And the, the runtime version, we're going to use that. So now here, this is where you are going to select the model file you have uh, saved. So we're going to browse. And then now this is the bucket, remember, that we looked at just now. And in here, this is the folder we had. And here you can see there's the model file but there's nothing you can select. Instead, we should select the folder, the path. Okay, so we're going to select this and then click select. And there you go, you have this here. Um, and here, skating. So skating is basically for you to have uh, some um, computation power ready so that uh, whenever you have a lot of uh, uh, you have a flood of uh, requests coming in, you can make sure that your model can handle that. So in that case, you want to use auto scaling and you want to specify the number of, uh, the minimum number of nodes to be one so that uh, your model can immediately kick in if you need it. So in this case, case here, I'm going to leave it as is and uh, that's pretty much it. And we're almost ready now to to deploy the model by clicking save. All right, so now that's it. It's going to take a little while for the model to be deployed. And I'm just going to pause here and we'll come back once this is deployed. Okay, great. The model has been 
successfully deployed. How do I know? Well, you can see this uh, little uh, green check mark here. If it's not successful, you're going to see a little uh, exclamation mark here. So in this case here, this is great. Now we're going to take a look by clicking on this version of the model. So here you can see um, all these uh, different uh, stats regarding the model. But what we're going to do is uh, we are going to test the model by coming here, test and use. And here we can directly enter the, um, the JSON inputs to test the model that has been deployed. So what do, we, what do we mean here? Basically, we are going to provide the JSON input data to the deployed model so that the deployed model can make predictions for the given input here. So let's come back to the Jupyter Notebook. And here, remember this that we created earlier? So we are going to just copy, and then we're going to paste it over here. There we go. Now we are going to say test. Here we go. We have the predictions right here. Okay, so two, one, one. And let us compare this against here. That is perfect. So that is it. Basically, we have deployed the model, and now the model is able to make predictions, and this is the deployed model. It is giving the same predictions as we have locally.